Hi, this is Jessica Schur with Herflix here at Tribeca 2014. We have some awesome interviews for you, women in film, here at Tribeca. All right, I'm here with Chrissy Shields, producer of Day 10, and uh, what's part of the shorts program here at Tribeca, is that right? Yes, it is. And now give me an idea of how you, you guys started the project. Uh, actually, Omar, the actor, and Aryan, the writer-director, just had a conversation, and, and like many of us do, about what, what was it like for you after 9-11? And uh, it came out that Omar's story was of silence and hope, and um, and Aryan was compelled by that. I mean, Aryan wasn't here, um, and uh, I wasn't here actually for in New York for 9-11, but Omar was, and that story just compelled him. He actually said last night, I don't think I could have done this film if I had my own feeling being in New York. Um, after 9-11 and so um, it's like a little poem mm -hmm. about uh, one man's journey um, in the outskirts of New York City kind of watching his city uh, fall apart and uh, the sadness around that. So. And was it deliberate to have it so quiet because there is a lot of sounds and beauty in that way but was that a deliberate choice? Yeah because Omar said you know everything was so quiet everyone was there was such humanity everyone was sort of reaching out helping each other um, and then there was like day around day 10 a horn honked and it stopped the silence and the silence just ended you know he said like there was like a trance almost that he, he felt he was in with his peers and the people around him and so uh, that you know that was the thing that broke it was a, a horn honking you know right. and did you have input as far as the storytelling process or you kind of stepped aside and let the storytelling happen on its own um, Arian actually uh, wrote this the script and and said what do you think and we talked a lot about it and I saw earlier cuts without really scenes of New York because the landscape has changed so much um, and then, you know, we talked about uh, adding, you know, more <laughs> landscape shots and, and that's sort of the intercut of, of, you know, the sky and, and the skyline and how it's shifted. So the biggest challenge you faced um, maybe during the process of filmmaking? I think that the challenge is post. Mm. There's a lot of challenges with post because it, it comes down to finances and, and ideas behind, you know, where what direction do we take this film? We, we did... Um, uh, um, uh, Dolby surround sound and mm. uh, with the film and uh, we also did um, a lot of color correction and um, and so you know it's just it just comes down to finances and what's gonna look the best that big you yeah. know on the screen so it's yeah. you know it's you know where do we where do we want to take this film and and you know we're so thrilled that it's premiering at the Tribeca Film Festival because it's a New York story. Yeah. This is Chrissy Shields she's here with us at Tribeca 2014. We've been watching a Herflix moment.